Hello, this is the Pythonic Accountant, and I'm back with another video for you. It's been a little while, so thank you for your patience while I uh, get back into the swing of things. And I'm going to start doing a few videos on regular expressions as a side series, because many of you actually expressed interest in learning a little bit more about them, and I picked up a few tips over my uh, years of experience working as a Pythonic Accountant. So what is regular expression? It's basically a sequence of characters that define a search pattern. And that search pattern can be used for many reasons, as we will discuss. So why and when and where do I use regular expressions? Well, there's countless ways, but some of the ones that I use it for are determining whether a document or string contains a word at all. Um, I use it to find out how many times a specific word or pattern might appear. I can use it to identify which lines I'm interested in getting data from, so kind of like a flag, um, or which lines I want to ignore, like a header or footer. And I'll use it to extract specific data elements uh, from a line based on their pattern or location. And we'll show examples of all those throughout the series. Um, so for today, we're just going to show a couple basics. Um, first, we're going to import the library, RE, which is regular expression. And we're just going to show some super simple examples. So if I've got a line that says hello, hello, I can determine whether the uh, word hello is in that line by doing re.search. And this will return uh, a match object if it does indeed have the word hello in it. And it'll tell me, yes, this matches. It starts at character 0, ends at character 5. So that's great. And the match is hello. Um, if I do the word hell, it's going to give me a match because hell is in there. And it'll just tell me that it starts at 0 and ends at 4. And then sim similarly with LO, uh, it'll say it starts at the first character, not the zeroth character, and goes through the fifth character. Now let's make it a little more interesting. We'll say, let's get these three lines, and we're going to search for a few different things. So first we're going to search for the word hello in each line, and we should expect it'll only give us the first line back. And uh, sure enough, we'll look at that first line. And, and one note real quick, uh, if any of you are thinking, hey, there's an easier way to do this, you're right. Um, in this scenario, you could just do this, which is, you know, if hello in line. It's going to give you the same result as the regex. So it's not really that um, I would use this for regular expressions, but uh, typically you're going to get to a little bit more complex pattern matching, as we'll show in future videos. But this is just demonstrating how it works, basically. Um, so if you search for the word hell, uh, we should see that in the first and third line, but not the second line. So let's see if that indeed gives us, uh, yep, gives us the first and the third line. And then finally, let's look for LO, and that should return second line, but not the third. And sure enough, we've got the two lines that have LO in it, but not the third line. So that's all we're going to do for today. Um, next video, we're going to start getting into some special characters to get to the real magic of regular expressions. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to watch uh, more of these, please click the subscribe button. And if you like this, please click like. And I hope you have a good one, and we'll see you at the next one.